All right, guys, so I've had a few requests to show you what I carry inside my fly vest when I go fly fishing. It's kind of windy here. I'm on the river today. I just got done catching some fish, and the sun's starting to go down over the trees. Really nice night, um, but I figured I would show you what I carry in my trout vest when I go fly fishing. So let me set this up somewhere and we'll go over this. All right guys, so I've got my trout vest here. This is an L.L. Bean vest and it's got a BOA system to it so you can tighten and loosen and adjust it. Uh, I think this is the Kennebec series vest. Uh, I'm gonna go over real quick what I carry out on the water. So the visible stuff that you can see right now, this has built-in zingers. I recommend getting a couple zingers for your vest. If you don't, they make like a lapel pin type. You can just put on there and hook your pliers to forceps, nippers, things like that. So I use Dr. Slick's nippers. They're by far the best, I think, for the price. Um, nothing special about them, just a pair of nippers. My other zinger, I carry a pair of nippers. This is a fish pond um, brand nipper. Fingernail clippers, anything like that works. So before I go any further, guys, the stuff that I'm going over right now, a lot of it's going to be in the description. There'll be links to it if you want to check it out um, so you can get a better look at it. But anyways, let's keep going. So this vest has a little uh, place to put flies on it. I just use some flies when I've used them and they're wet. I stick them on here, let them dry. Of course, uh, I've kind of been lazy and haven't taken them off and put them back in my fly boxes. Got my Trout Unlimited pin on there. Got some more flies over here, some dry flies. Um, in this pouch, I honestly don't even know what's in here, guys. I just, I didn't prepare for this video at all. Floatant, you're gonna need floatant if you're a fly fisherman, dry fly. I use gink, that's what I use. Works the best for me, it's cheap, accessible. Um, I got my Top Ride by Loon. Again, any brand works. It's just a desiccant to dry your fly off with. Now also in this pocket I've got a hook sharpener and a whole bunch of these different types of floats. Got a thingamabobber, got a fish pimp, a couple different kinds, different sizes. Uh, I also got a knot tying tool for tying your for tying your mono or fluorocarbon directly to your um, fishing line, just a little tool. For, it's a nail knot tool. In this other front pocket, I've got some of my tippet material. Um, I just kind of stack it in there, nothing special. Um, actually, I've got all my tippet material for all my, I have three different fly rods, so I keep uh, a bunch of different tippet spools in here, different brands. Um, in this big pocket, I've got one fly box. This is a hard case. Um, and this is my dry fly box. It's a Morale, Moral. Um, it's just a floating fly box. It's not waterproof. I don't really like the waterproof ones. A lot of people like them. I don't. They, uh, aside from being waterproof, they also hold water. So I like something that I can, uh, that'll dry out easily. So. It's just a floating, really cheap one. Open it up, there's some of my dry flies. I keep a lot of my dry flies separate from my streamers um, because the streamers tend to be longer and bulkier and I don't use them as much. So I like to keep all my dries together. There's just a few of them. Keep that on this side. On this side should be, last time I checked, should be my streamers. And it is, yep. This is my streamer box. This is a Montana Fly Company. Uh, MFC box, trout, brook trout pattern. Let's open it up. I put a divider in here too. So I've got nymphs. I've got streamers. I've got the divider. Woolly buggers. Streamers, things like that that I made. Wet fly box, streamers, things like that. Moving on. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Um, I've got a little pocket on the side here. 
right on the side, pull this out. This is an important thing to have if you're a trout fisherman. A fish pond thermometer. If you're a trout fisherman, it's important to keep uh, a close eye on the water temperature. Um, so I carry that with me. I just have some fishing line hooked to it. And at the moment, it's kind of hung up on my zipper. But, that's where that lives. Um, in this zipper, let's see, I don't know if there's much in here. Yeah, in this zipper, I've got um, leader material and some other tippet material that I sometimes use as chameleon stuff. Uh, in this big pocket, I know there's something in here. This is a very important pocket. This is a very important pocket. You want to know why? Uncle Ben's. 30% deep. A little bit better than the 90% deep. Um, so on the back, I've already showed, I've already made a video of how my net works and what I use for a net, but show you again real quick I'll link that in the description as well you can go back it's about three videos ago oh no one video ago it's uh, how to attach your net something about like how to attach your net to your vest or it's about a magnetic net release so let me show you this this is my net it's a fish pond nomad net it's a brown trout pattern it's a uh, carbon fiber believe it or not super lightweight, a rubberized net. Rubberized net is so important trout fishing. I can't even stress that enough. It's so important. Protects the fish, keeps your hooks free from snagging in the net, and uh, it just works a heck of a lot better. I got a ruler attached to it. Um, Angling Designs, little tape measure. Hooks right to the handle. Um, this is how I hooked up my magnet right on the top of the net with some zip ties. The other part of the magnet hooks up here on my back. I go like this. And it latches. And on the bottom of the net, the carabiner goes, uh, my lanyard goes all the way up through here and hooks over here. So when I'm ready to net the fish, get the rod in this hand, pull this out, and I net the fish. And that's it guys, that's all I got. I don't have a lot, a lot of stuff, but uh, I'll try to keep it low, I'll try to keep the weight down. And uh, that's what I keep in my fly vest. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.